nice chilly night in the shelter. I slept so well. Um, I was up at five and I had a good journaling session and then got all packed up, probably on the trail, pretty close to 6.30. Um, it's still pretty cold this morning. I think it was like low 40s in the shelter when I checked earlier. Um, it should be a relatively easy day. I think there's another shelter in like 25 or 22 or something and then uh, we can go into town and resupply because uh, it's right off trail in the morning tomorrow instead of trying to get in and out of town tonight. So that's most likely what we're gonna do. Um, so, oof. yeah, still been pretty rocky yesterday and today, but yesterday was such a nice day. Um, I loved my little nap spot. It was incredible. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see what today holds. So beautiful. <sighs> okay, so I just passed Culver Gap and I saw on the map that there was like a little gas station and so I was like, oh, I can go for my waters there. So I didn't want to have to walk all the way back down to the spring at the shelter this morning. Um, so, and then it's like another three miles from this point. So it was like four miles to get to Culver Gap. And I think another three or something before I pass more water. And I only had a, like a half a liter when I left the shelter. I mean, it's been cold. It's really hard to drink a whole lot of water when it's real cold. Um, but, um, I didn't completely run out of water, but I walked over to the gas station. It wasn't like marked on gut hook, but you could kind of see it on the map. Um, but the gas station was literally just a gas station selling only gas and no, not a convenience store. So no water and no bathroom. Um, but then there was someone getting gas and he overheard me ask the gas attendant if there was water and he gave me two small water bottles that I filled my water bottle with. So I got some wa trail magic water, which was really great. Uh, and now I have no idea if Coyote's ahead or behind cause he was behind, but then I like kind of waited and before I walked over to the gas station, but he doesn't keep his phone on, so. Anyways, I was just kind of like, okay, now I'm back on the trail and we'll see about this next climb. I think climbing to like Culver's Fire Tower or something like that. Um, and I should be up there in two miles. Oh, it does. Wow. <laughs> Just made it to the top of Sunrise Mountain, I think. Yeah. There's this really cool little um picnic area. Kind of like shelter style. But look at these views. This is like a shop or something.
Wow, look at this view. Oh, all the light green kind of looks like fall almost. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy that all of the green is coming in. <laughs> the trees have leaves. <laughs> oh, okay, so there is a state park headquarters coming up right here and I'm going to take lunch there. It's a little after 2.30. I don't know how many miles I've gone, maybe around 14, but yeah, I just wanted to I think there's like bathrooms here and, and stuff. I hope it's open, so we'll see. Cute building. Let's see. Okay. I'm leaving the Appalachian Trail. Where will I get back on the Appalachian Trail? Probably somewhere. I don't know. I'll look later for now into this building. Ooh, okay. Getting back on the trail. It's been like two and a half hours. I was over there charging, editing, eating. Now just, I think two miles to shelter. Okay, we made it to this little observation deck where we can see High Point Tower the rest of New Jersey. Wow, the lighting is so beautiful right now. Look at how beautiful this looks. Okay, so I'm walking down from the shelter towards the little creek. Wow, look at how beautiful. And this little bridge. Oh my goodness. I don't I, I don't know what kind of plants these are. If you know, let me know. Um oh wait, okay, those ones right there are corn lilies, and those are my favorite plants out here. Because they fill up meadows, and then I just remember the first time I ever saw a mountain meadow, it was full of those corn lilies, and it was so beautiful. So now I love them, but wow. So there's the shelter, also looking beautiful. So um, I think we've only gone like 20 miles today and we're just gonna stop because there's not a really great place um, before Unionville and then we didn't really wanna stay in Unionville. So Unionville's like a little less than eight miles away, maybe around seven. Um, and we need to resupply there. It's like right off the trail, so that's nice. <clears throat> um, so we'll do that in the morning. And for now, I'm just gonna like edit for the rest of the evening, like from the shelter. And I don't know, it feels kind of cool to just like have a short day like outside and be out here in this beautiful weather. It's been such a nice day. I've had such, I've been in such a good mood and just feel so lighthearted and it felt good. Like the train was still pretty rocky, but I don't know. Just uh, just enjoyed it today. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna make mac and cheese for dinner, and it's gonna be delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.